In this video, we will see how to open the cursor AI editor from the terminal on Mac machine. So for that, I will open the terminal. So command and space and type terminal. Let's maximize this. And here, if I type cursor and hit enter, then I am getting this error, command not found cursor. So to make it work, we need to launch the cursor manually without using terminal just for once. And there we will install this cursor shell command. So I will again say command and space and type cursor. Let's open this. Now here we will click on this view. Then we will see this command palette or alternatively you can directly use this shortcut command shift and P. So let's click on this. Now here we will search for shell. So here we will see this install cursor command. So let's click on this. Now we will click on this OK. And here we need to provide the password of our Mac machine. Let's click on OK. So the cursor command is installed successfully. So let's click on OK. Now if I close this cursor editor from here and on terminal again type cursor and hit enter. So as you can see this time we did not get that error and the cursor AI editor is launched successfully. Now let's say you are switching to cursor from VS code and you always used the code command to open the VS code from the terminal. So now if you want to continue using the code command instead of this cursor command then in that case this cursor editor also gives this functionality to us. So in order to use that functionality again we will open the command palette. So I'll click on this view then command palette. Now again we will type shell and now this time we will click on this install code command. So click on ok. Now again we need to provide the password of our Mac machine. Click on ok. So the code command is also installed successfully for the cursor editor. So again if I close this cursor from here and if I type on terminal code. So as you can see we have this cursor editor opened instead of that VS code. Now in the upcoming videos we will see the important features of this editor and we will also do some practicals around the chat and the composer features of this cursor AI editor. So if you are interested in these things then do subscribe the channel and do hit the like button if this video was useful to you.